In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can draw uh, balustrades or handrails. Simply click on the plus back stair tool and then choose the uh, handrail tool. And this is going to open a dialog. Now you can go through all of the attributes and assign the height, the type, in other words, whether or not you want to use glass or wire, max post spacing, etc. Go through these orange help bars so you can see what each item is doing. When you're happy, you just press submit. Now, to, you can lock your balustrade on axes to make it easier and faster to draw. If you want to lock it on the red axis, you click the right arrow on your keyboard. If you want to lock it on the green, you click the left arrow. And if you want to lock it on the blue, you click the up arrow. To draw or to place it, all you need to do is double click. All of your balustrades or handrails are parametric, so if you do change your mind, you can simply Click on the plus handrail, edit handrail, and this will go back into the plus spec dialog. In here, you can change anything. I'll just do a very quick change and press submit. I'm now going to show you how you can uh, obviously trace around a staircase too. So go back into your stair tool, select the stair that you want to draw and press submit. And then just place your stair. There is a little bit of setup that you need to do just to make this easier for yourself. Once you've uh, got the stair, the format that you want, you're going to use the sample balustrades um, as, an, as your guide and you're going to click the T on your keyboard and you want to reference these balustrade lines you, and you want to ensure that you stay on the uh, perpendicular line. Place it and then do the same to this one. If you're having problems referencing it, it's good to kind of just reference the line and then you can go down You can and you'll see that it should keep it to that uh, perpendicular line. Now you need to offset it obviously. So if I want it to be say, I'm using metric, but obviously if you're using imperial, you would type in feet and inches, but I'm gonna type 50 millimeters. I'm gonna do the same to this grid. So I'm left clicking to select it, and I'm moving it by clicking on the M and then dragging it in on the axis, press 50. Finally, I'm also going to drop them 50 millimeters down. So I'm going to select them again, get on the blue axes and type in 50. I'll do the same thing to the other one. And this means you're going to draw very accurately. I can now go into my balustrade tool. Then I can assign the kind of balustrade that I want to use, obviously. When I'm happy, I just press submit. Now all you're doing is you're trying to find these intersect points. Now I've set, uh, again I'm using metric and I've set my maximum post spacings to a meter. So I'm just wanting to make sure that I draw them under that one meter. So I'm gonna come up here, I can probably go to there. Again, selecting the intersecting points. Now this time I wanna end it here. I'm now getting on the green axis and I can align it with that one there. I'm going to come across to this point. And then again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find just under that one meter. And this will depend on what you've set on yours. So I'm just going to end it here by double clicking and you will see that your balustrade is now being formed precisely where you want it to be. Again, you can also delete those grid lines.